So let's compare 3 fourths and 5 sevenths, figure out which one is larger. So to do that, we could just divide 3 by 4 in a calculator, get a decimal, divide 5 by 7, get a decimal, and compare those. Whichever one is larger, whichever decimal is larger, that's the larger fraction. We could also find a common denominator, something that 4 and 7 both go into evenly. So why don't we do this? Let's multiply 4 times 7. 4 times 7, that would equal 28. And then down here, 7 times 4. That equals 28. So now we have that same denominator. Once we get the numerators, we can just compare them and see if 3 fourths is greater than, equal to, or less than 5 sevenths. We can't just multiply the denominator, though, by 4. We also need to multiply the numerator by 4. That's because 4 over 4 is 1. So we're multiplying by 1. Don't change the value, just the way it's represented. 5 times 4, that's 20. And 20 28 that's an equivalent fraction to 5 sevenths. Up here, we'll multiply by 7. 3 times 7 is 21. Now, same denominator. Let's compare the numerators. 21 is larger than 20. So 21 28 that's larger than 20 28 Only by 1 28th, but it's still larger. And these are equivalent here and here. So 3 fourths, that's larger than 5 sevenths. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.